Warm welcome to you all. Hope you'll thoroughly enjoy our program. May we remind you that for the convenience of those patrons who prefer not to smoke, seating areas on the right-hand side of this auditorium have been designated as no smoking areas. Your cooperation is appreciated. December the 6th, 1980, the nuclear-powered attack aircraft carrier USS Nimitz, with a crew of 5,000 men and a strike force of 90 aircraft, was on a routine mission in the Pacific when it encountered a storm unlike any ever recorded, and disappeared. <laughs> Antennas check out, but we're off the air. Any word from our destroyers? We aren't getting anything except some code transmissions in the 200 meter band. Otherwise, we're dead as a doornail. Ops, what's our radar picture? Radar shows us clear, sir. Can't you see that Russian trawler? I have the signal officer on deck, but no visual sighting, sir. All of us know that movement through time is possible. Einstein proved it. There are forces in the universe which we're only now just beginning to understand. I mean understand through science, not superstition. There are black holes in space, antimatter, curved space. Things that are as strange to us as electricity would have been to people in the Middle Ages. Or this ship in World War II. Help! Help! What's happening here? Who are you people? Are we at war? Is that what happened? Splash the zeros. I say again, splash the zeros. We've got an incredible opportunity here. We know where all the mistakes are going to be made for the next 40 years, and you've got the power to correct them. I've got planes out there. Those planes give us all a second chance. We're a bunch of damn fools if we don't take it. Those men have enough knowledge among them to build the atom bomb, reach the moon years before it should have happened. Is that a terrifying prospect, Captain? Or tempting one. On December the 6th, 1980, the nuclear carrier USS Nimitz disappeared in the Pacific and reappeared December 6th, 1941, off the coast of Pearl Harbor. The final countdown is about to begin. Stick him up or I'll plug you. Are you really the fastest guy in the world? 
Ain't nobody faster than Bronco Billy. You think you're faster than I am? Well, I wouldn't want to find that out, Sheriff. Why, aren't you Bronco Billy the fastest in the West? I could outdraw you any day in the week. Bronco Billy, you're nothing. The toughest hombre! Are you finished with your little speech? Yeah, I'm finished. I do not work for you, and if you ever raise your voice to me again, I will scratch out your eyes! Well, when did you feel it was time to take action? Well, it's always time to take action when there's danger. Tell them we're gonna rob a train. Okay, Billy. Rob a train? Bronco Billy, the best friend a man ever had. Bronco Billy. I love you, Bronco Billy. Don't you understand what Bronco Billy and the Wild West Show are all about? You can be anything you want. All you have to do is go out and become it. Bronco Billy McCoy! It's the musical extravaganza that launches the 80s. It's Alan Carr's Can't Stop the Music. You can't stop the music. Once you see it, you'll know why you can't stop the glamour. Do the shake, do the shake, do the shake. Do the milkshake, the milkshake, do the shake. Do the shake, do the shake, do the shake, do the shake. Do the milkshake, the milkshake. You can't stop the excitement. Dancing. You can't stop the laughter. Most of all, you can't stop the music. You can't stop the music. Can't stop Nobody the music. Starring stop Village the music. People. Take the heat from flame. Try to feel the Valerie Perron. Though you try in vain. It's what she sees. You know Bruce you Jenner. Can't stop the music. Nobody can stop Steve Gutenberg. She's the master plan. Take the Paul Sam. Co-starring Tammy Grimes, June Havoc, Barbara Rush, Out to Be Davis, Marilyn Sokol, and a special appearance by the Ritchie family. Once it begins, you can't stop the music. Sounds of the 80s are composed and produced by Chuck Morelli. Watch for the exciting new Pinnacle Photo Book, an EMI film from AFD. Original soundtrack records and tapes available through Casablanca Records. If you want to believe in magic, in beauty, 
in friendship and freedom. Believe in the Black Stallion. The biggest, the blackest, and the strongest, the most beautiful horse that ever was. Francis Ford Coppola presents Walter Farley's timeless classic, Whose Time Has Come, The Black Stallion. The story of a legendary horse who could only be tamed by a young boy's love. Together, they survive a shipwreck. and the dangers of an island wilderness. You saved my life. They meet a forgotten man. He'll be moving, he'll be making that rhythm. You just go on with him, see? Who helps them bring a legend to life. I see the horse that defies the imagination, that runs like a demon possessed at speeds beyond belief. He could be the greatest sensation in racing history. <laughs> Black Stallion, an unforgettable adventure, a motion picture of extraordinary beauty, a story that will make your heart race, your spirit soar, but most of all, it will make you believe in the Black Stallion. Look forward to and come and enjoy the best on the big screen scene at this cinema. Film Harmonic 80, Royal Albert Hall, October the 18th. A concert of great film and television music played by the National Philharmonic Orchestra with world famous guest conductors John Adelson, Richard Leonard, Jeff Love, John Williams, and two compares, Elaine Stritch and Donald Sinden. Tickets from £1.50 to £9 from the Philharmonic box office, Leicester Square Theatre, London WC2, and from the Royal Albert Hall. for the Star Wars. The princess has been captured. There's one separate stuff. Our heroes are threatened by an Imperial troop transporter. Will the mighty force of the Millennium Falcon be enough to smash Darth Vader? Will Luke be able to save the princess? Only you can decide. The new Palatoy Star Wars models in toy shops now. They're waiting. Because there will always be the last-minute gift. Room service. The inevitable extra. Early morning tea. Fifteen calls to Aberdeen, Scotland. Michael, the car isn't big enough. All right, Anna, all right, we'll get another one. The better alternative. Yes, that'll do nicely. That's that not for you? The currency problem. Seventy mil, cinquecento, cinquecento, cinquecento. There will always be the American Express card. At the better places worldwide, the card looks after everything. American Express. Because you're free from preset spending limits. Back about Tuesday fortnight. To apply, take a form where you see this display, the American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Hello, Star Captain Eric Smith here. Not many people know this, but 20 years ago, I was the first man in space. I was flabbergasted by all the changes, especially at my local Wimpy. Real hot, juicy hamburgers, like the Wimpy King size. Yes, the whole experience left me breathless and without transport. You should see how things are changing at Wimpy. Your mate's a bit quiet. Yeah. He always is when he's drinking Hofmeister. It's the wonderful flavor. That terrifically satisfying taste sends him all quiet and thoughtful. 
Is that a fact? What would you say to a pint of something different, mate? Three pints of Hofmeister, please. Hofmeister, the best tasting lager you can get your paws on. Duracell is no ordinary battery. Proof? We put Duracell into one toy, ordinary batteries into the others. After a few hours continuous use, the ordinary batteries have played out. But Duracell keeps going and going and going, lasting up to six times longer. Duracell. With a copper-colored top, no ordinary battery looks like it or lasts like it. Your Cinzano Bianco, signora. Uh, uh, Thank you. Ah, yes. Gracias. Ah, do we? No, 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 no. My Mr. Cinzano as well. Ah, oh, that's better. Uh, oh, can't you just smell those Italian wines? Suffused with herbs and spices, spices from, from four, four continents. Why, being boring. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry. sorry. Right. Oh, get in your head now, sweetie. Jolly good idea. From the house of Cinzano, Cinzano Bianco. Now, it's time for ice cream. Or maybe some nuts. A cool glass of orange. Why not try a hot dog? Or a sparkling ice cool Pepsi. From the sales girls and in the foyer. Now. Hey, Eddie, how come you're such a big hit with the girls? You can tell from what I'm drinking that I'm really kind of smooth, oh yeah. Uh-huh. I'll take a Pepsi from the counter and I stroll up to the booth, oh yeah. Uh-huh. Now when I get to where they're sitting, that's my chance to treat these kittens to a Pepsi. Pepsi Cola. Uh-huh. It's making Pepsi Cola. I take another sip and I kiss them on the lips, oh yeah. Uh-huh. They don't put up a battle when I make the ice cubes rattle. My social life is busy since I've been buying lots of Pepsi. It's like a Pepsi Cola. Uh -huh. It's like a Pepsi Cola. Oh, yeah. It's like a Pepsi Cola. Mm -hmm. The amazing new lolly from Lion's Made Space 1999. Icy lime flavor outside. Oozy red center. Space 1999, with free picture cards from Lions Made. Of course I love Cher. But I should put a kiss, don't I? Mm. But I kissed. On sale now. War in space makes you thirsty. Captain Kiora to Earth. Kiora fruit drinks in three spacey flavors. Kiora. A super drink for a super thirst.
Stand by for the most extraordinary chain of events ever swept up into high adventure. Hey, Larry, where's the forklift? Forklift! It's over there with the baggage water. Airplane. Airplane is drama. Uh, this is Dr. Brody at the Mayo Clinic. There's a passenger on your Chicago flight 209 or a little girl named Lisa Davis en route to Minneapolis. She's scheduled for a heart transplant. I want you to make sure that she's kept in a reclined position and that a continuous watch is kept on her IV. Airplane is action. Airplane is romance. I love you, Elaine. I love you. Airplane is music. There is only one river. There is only one sea. Airplane is dancing. Never has the screen been so big. You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir, I've never been up in a plane before. Peter Graves. You ever seen a grown man naked? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. My name is Roger Murdoch. I'm an airline pilot. Leslie Nielsen. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. Lloyd Bridges. Johnny, what can you make out of this? This? Oh, I could make a cap, or a brooch, or a pterodactyl. Robert Stack. All right, Steve, let's face a few facts. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. Julie Haggerty. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? Can you fly this plane and land it? Robert Hayes. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. I've got to get out of here. Let me handle this. Calm down now. Get back to your seat. I'll take care of this guy. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Don't be one of them. Everything's been Sister, please handle this. Mayday. Mayday. The most incredible adventure the screen has ever created. He's coming right at us! The big news is... Airplane. May we remind you that full details of all our West End programs appear in the weekly film guide available free from the foyer staff. Now we present our feature film.